Greetings from JetBlue Park. I'm Michael Silverman, joined by colleague Ron Borges. There are two games today, two Red Sox games, a split squad up in Sarasota where John Farrell is and a regular game against the Marlins down here. And I guess the big story today is that Grady Sizemore is in center field and playing his second game in a row, which uh, as far as the Red Sox are concerned is a big deal. And why is that, Ron? Well, because of that terrible injury history that he had. He hasn't played in two years, as you know, Michael. And it's kind of uh, his story is to be the most intriguing one in, in, in camp because it involves Jackie Bradley as well. And, and this sort of idea some have postulated in Boston that, that somehow uh, if Sizemore plays well, it's a problem because somehow this is going to adversely affect Jackie Bradley or, or whatever. To me, competition is the best thing going. I mean, if, he can, if Sizemore can play the way he played two or three years ago, 2008, 2009, you know, well, how can that be a down thing? Which is why I'm interested to see how he plays today. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think a lot of people seem to think that Jackie Bradley should be the guy, and I think they forget how good Grady Sizemore was. And Jackie Bradley might, has a very bright future, but it's kind of tough to project him to be Grady Sizemore, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, Sizemore, if you go back and look at his stats from those you know, those great years he had in Cleveland, I mean, he was close to one of the best players. Well, he was one of the best players in the American League. I mean, uh, and if he had kept going like that, by the end of his career, you're talking about whether or not he should be in the Hall of Fame. So if he can approach that in any way, shape, or form, you know, why wouldn't you want him in center field? We both agree. And um, We do? Yeah. Wow. For a change. Um, so John Lackey's pitching today. Alan Webster up in Sarasota, uh, but really, I think the big story all camp is uh, Grady Sizemore, and uh, Ron will be all over that in tomorrow's Herald, so be sure to pick that up, and that's it for JetBlue Park.